So I'm making my final plea, and I just wanted to tell you that uh, I don't know if this presentation is going to go uh, as, as much as I planned, but this is the raw deal, and uh, I'm looking forward to hopefully uh, somebody out there, just one person, come visit me in Japan. Let me see if the things that I'm talking about is something that you could do. And I want you to first come over on Airbnb. And I want you to spend, uh, you know, just as little money as possible. And there's hotels in Japan that are going to get angry at me for that. However, these first people that come to Japan, they are eventually going to help me magnify and bring more people so those hotels can get on the action. Those hotels are going to be sources of huge parties. And right now, what doesn't exist in Japan is a party visa. <laughs> so if you have a choice to come to Japan, you could come, who knows, maybe as a diplomat. You could get married. We could facilitate connections. Who knows where that could lead? Like-minded individuals. But, uh, you know... We need to designate a party visa. Why did you come to Japan? I'm coming to party. Hey, uh, now, if you came to Japan and you came on a party visa, I don't know if that exists. <laughs> uh, but you see, what exists and what can exist if we make it exist because we make it profitable. See, that money part is the easy part. <laughs> you think it's the hard part. It's not. Uh, there's plenty of money out there. New York and Japan is a source of great wealth. And this we can tap. Uh, please allow me to make introductions of people in Sullivan County and people in the place where I live in Japan. And I promise you, if Sullivan County people visit me before the opening of the casino... And I introduce them to people where I live in Japan and we invite them to the casino and they come to the casino. Then they can also be agents of bringing all these companies and universities to the convention center at the casino and present this new technology giving uh, also... You know, going to local communities, places, starting more makers labs, co-working spaces, dormitories to accommodate people traveling and a steady flow, perhaps just expanding Airbnb. However, we're talking about changing education itself where study abroad is part of studying and when people study abroad, they're specifically going as location-free independence because they first developed this synthesis mentality based on coordination of right-left brain, not falling victim to a brain dominance and judgment. Sounds big, people, but it's not if we think about the opportunities out there. And I'm going to show you why it's in your best interest. We're not playing around, people. So please get on my YouTube channel. We need 30,000 likes for my channel so I can properly monetize. I can properly talk to the companies that will let me sponsor me. Let me feature the kind of technologies we can use to go abroad, translate our voice. Going to Japan is a training. Two weeks after that, see the world new place. America, Japan, connection, take it around the world, sell it, go to city halls, go to mayors, tell them you have the solution to local thriving communities, tell them it involves connecting with their universities.